Hey, Halo Billy Deluxe here, otherwise known as Ryan, uh, coming to you with a new video. Second video ever! Anyway, um, uh, I'm here to tell you about my hammock camping gear. I just got into hiking this summer, and hammock camping, hammock camping to boot, gotta love it. Um, turns out to be the best way to sleep ever. Like, I can't, I can't even describe how awesome sleeping in a, in a hammock the right way is. It's like, uh, th like, it puts like those count number of sleep mattresses or whatever, sleep number mattresses, yeah, they ain't got nothing on a hammock, alright? Anyway, so, I'm gonna go through my gear here, I've seen a lot of people make these videos, and I found them really helpful just to get ideas from other people, so I'm gonna put one out there just to maybe help somebody else, and then maybe they can help me uh, if they see something that I should do differently. Um, yeah, that'd be sweet. So anyway, I've made myself quite a mess. This is my mess going on across the floor here. This is a uh, general anywhere be about a week um, or so, not counting food. This is all the stuff I carry. First thing I carry here. This is the uh, North Face Terra 65 bag. Uh, awesome bag. It's a little on the heavy side for my liking, but you know what? When you're trying to go cheap, um, you get what you get, and you don't pitch a fit, as I tell my kids. Um, and this bag is good for, yeah, I mean, it's not a horribly expensive bag, probably right around the 170 mark, I believe, or 160 mark. But, um, as far as versatility goes, it's, it's, it's top notch. Um, you can, you know, I can use it all year round. I don't have to worry about not having enough room, you know, in the winter time. I can pack everything I need in there. Um, a couple of things that are always on the pack. Uh, my father's Vietnam dog tag always comes with. Uh, he passed away when I was 18, so he loved the outdoors, so I always bring that with me. Um, always got a bandana uh, tacked onto the outside, usually a couple of them for that matter. It's always good to have a bandana with you um, to, you know, clean up, heal gaping wounds, or not heal them, but cover them. Anyway, I uh, got a lighter strapped to it because um, I, yeah, need a lighter. Uh, anyway, this one comes with the OptiFit system. It's really sweet. You just uh, pull this cord. I don't know if you can really see it. It's kind of dark. But you can just pull this cord here down, which I just did. Now you got to pop it back up. Uh-oh, what did I do here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Pull that down, and then there's some Velcro behind behind here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Back down here somewhere. Oh, right here. And then, uh, yeah, you can adjust this up and down. Works great, and it, you know, it fits really good. Even comes with these little nodules here that put right on your iliac crest. I can't believe I remembered that word. Anyway, it works out uh, to size perfectly. Um, old knife that I got a long time ago. It's, uh, this knife is actually from Norway. Um, it's a little heavy, but you know what? It's sturdy as a mountain goat. I mean, that thing, and it's sharp as sharp as a tack. So it's really awesome. This is a cool little deal. Uh, this is the Bontrager um, Ion 2 uh, mountain bike light, or, well, bike, bicycle light. Um, I use that for when I'm mountain biking, but it happens to come in really handy if you strap it onto the pack here. Um, you can It sits right up on your shoulder, just pointed like, you know, maybe 5 to 10 feet out in front of you. And it just it's great for when you're walking and you're stuck out at night walking in the trail. Uh, but it works out really good. This bag has a lot of different compartments. Like I said, it's a 65 liter, but it's, I mean, it's adjustable all the way around. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, if you pack it light, there's not a whole bunch of extra material hanging off of you. You can pack it all into itself pretty good. So anyway, um, for my tarp, for when I'm hammock camping, I'm not taking it off because, well, frankly, I just don't want to, but it's really just one of those, like, plastic, uh, or I don't even know what you want to call them, those plastic tarps from like Home Depot or whatever, you know, people use them to cover their cars or the boats or whatever they use them for. Um, but it's like an eight by ten. It's uh, it's pretty light, to be honest with you, but it's really cheap. So save some money rather than getting like a sil nylon, uh, you know, expensive tarp. I just went with this to save me a bunch of money, and uh, you know what, it works out just fine. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna go down this line here, so there's a couple things out of order. But uh, another another bandana, and what I keep in here is my aluminum tent stakes. Obviously, I don't have a tent. I sleep in a hammock. 
but it's always, you know, these are for like uh, tie downs for the tarp. Um, I got these at Walmart. They're super cheap. It's like three bucks for four of them, and they're just as good as, you know, they're, they're the Koglins ones, but they're super light and aluminum, and they're really strong. Um, you got to be careful. They are. It's still aluminum, easy to bend, so you can't bend them. But they're they're really strong. They hold their they hold the rope really good on these little notches right here. Um, let's see what else do I bring with me? Um, I'll get to those. I got some water shoes. I bring these. Um, you know, obviously when it's a little warmer, uh, and I might actually be doing some fishing or something. Uh, quiet dog. I'm filming. <laughs> anyway. Um, my water shoes, they're nice to have. You don't want to be walking across a creek or something, cut a foot open. That'd be a horrible thing to do while you're hiking. It would just really put a damper on your whole trip. Uh, let's see, when, for cold gear, I don't really need a whole lot, which is nice, because I don't go in like the 20 below kind of weather. But I do go down to, I'll probably go down to probably about 15 degrees before I start going, all right, you know what, it's cold. But anyway, well, I bring a pair of uh, warm uh, fleece gloves, cheap. I mean, I don't even know. I think my wife got these at a gas station or something. But just fleece. They're warm. Uh, I like a balaclava. Um, this is not the one I normally bring. I want to. I have a uh, thicker fleece one that I need to get. But uh, this one does the job for the most part. It's just I like it to be a little more, a little thicker for one, and number two, uh, just a little more room inside of there so it's not suffocating you because you wear them while you're sleeping and it's they work really good if you wear them while you're sleeping my hat uh this is a gander mountain guide series uh fleece beanie it's a uh, hundred percent polyester i believe uh pretty much all polyester a little bit of spandex in there for stretch but uh polyester hat works really good keeps you really warm um, yeah, so I really like that for when I'm sleeping in the hammock on colder nights. I have, um, I try to go cheaper on my clothes. I, every time I go out for clothes, I look for, I go to home, or, uh, Goodwill, thrift stores, you know, stuff like that. I'm really trying to find stuff cheap, you know, save a little money here and there. Frankly, I don't have a lot. I don't know a lot of people that do. So anytime I can save money and let anybody know how to save the money or where to save it at, I'm going to let you know when I can. Because, frankly, camping can get expensive, hammocking can get expensive, and if there's a cheaper, just as uh, optimal way of doing it, I'm going to let you know. Um, I went with this jacket. This one I got at Target. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but it's just a light uh, windbreaker type style jacket with fleece lining. Um, it's made by Champion. Uh, you can get them at Target. They're a really nice jacket. Um, I got a Columbia vest, uh, fleece vest. Um, that's uh, warm. Got it at Goodwill. You can usually find it. If you go to the richer neighborhoods, I'm telling you, all you people in the rich neighborhoods that keep getting rid of your really expensive stuff to Goodwill, thank you. I love it because I can get my stuff on the cheap. And I was uh, popping tags. I was popping tags well before it was cool. I was doing it because I was broke. So anyway, yeah, pop some tags. If you get the chance, go to Goodwill. Hit your thrift stores. Hit your uh, consignment shops because you can get some nice stuff. Uh, yeah, so anyway, Columbia vest. Just for an extra outer layer. Um, it's good. I keep a pair of, like, ear mitts. These are the 360. Uh, they just wrap around your head really tight. But they work really good in case it's like just a little too hot for a beanie or whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, more clothes. These are these are pretty much the idea of the clothes I bring. Um, I don't always bring. I don't bring all of this all at once. Um, but uh, I got a little bit warmer. Um, all of these are synthetic shirts. None of them have, are cotton shirts because, frankly, a lot of anybody that goes out hiking and camping knows you don't want to be out there walking in um, dog. Back up. You don't want to be uh, you don't want to be um, sweating to death in cotton stuff. It doesn't dry. It, it's just it's it's uncomfortable. Chafing doesn't wick moisture away. You know they're just not it's not uh, ideal. So all these are synthetic shirts. Um, all of the let's see these two here, this one and this one, I got at. Um, I got it at uh, Target. It's the Champion brand. Um, they work really good. I use them for mountain biking all the time. This one here is another one, but I got this one at Goodwill. Uh, I think I paid $2 for that. This Under Armour um, synthetic t-shirt I paid $2 for, I think, at Goodwill. 
<clears throat> this one is a little thicker for colder. Then you go thinner long sleeves and short sleeve ones. And you know how that goes. But you want to be able to have layers for when you're out and you don't know really what the temperature is going to be like. <clears throat> Higher elevations, you get to be, uh, you get, the weather gets a little more uh, sporadic and variable, variables come in. Anyway, uh, I want to switch over to uh, the pants I go with are just Gander Mountain um, full nylon zip-off pants. They zip off here. It's awesome for, you know, when you got to cross a creek or whatever, you don't have to get your pants soaking wet all the way through. Um, yeah, they also dry out really fast. You want a pair of compression shorts. I went with the PowerCore, uh, again, Champion brand Target. They're cheap and they work, um, and they hold together. I use them in mountain biking, so if I can mountain bike in it, I can walk in it. Um, but yeah, compression shorts are awesome. Keeps everything where it needs to be, guys, if you know what I mean. You definitely want things where they need to be. Um, some smart wool socks, definitely not something to spare expenses on because, frankly, you want a pair of smart wool socks. They wick moisture away really good. Who wants to pay $20 on a pair of socks? I know nobody wants to pay $20. But, when it, you know, when it comes to your feet, that's what's keeping you moving when you're hiking. So, you know what, get some smart wool socks. Um, I went with these super thick ones. Sorry, my dog's over there ringing the bell. I think she's got to go to the bathroom. We set up a bell for it, because that'll let her out. You want to go outside, Lily? You want to go outside? Say hi. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? How about high five? Good girl. Anyway. Back from that ordeal. Uh, let's see here. Where were we? Oh, yeah, socks. So, I went with these, uh, these, sleeping so these for sleeping socks. Uh, they're just Walmart brand super thick wool socks. Um, again, you want to avoid the cotton, but these aren't much to hike in. They don't wick moisture away hardly at all, but they're really warm if you're using them for like a slipper kind of thing, like when you're sleeping, and they just keep your, your feet toasty warm. Um, as for keeping toasty warm, uh, you got to have a good base layer, like I say. I think that's your key spot when, you know, when you're out doing any kind of uh, backwoods stuff. Um, so I went with the Under Armour. These I didn't spare any expense for. I actually paid some good money for these. Um, but the Under Armour Cold Gear, uh, uh, Long Johns, they're super awesome. They, they wick moisture away faster than it can precipitate, and they keep you really warm. Um, I can pretty much just sleep in those and one of those, uh, champion shirts over there and be good to go. Uh, if it's getting a little colder, I'll throw, these are like... I don't know, extra large running pants. Entirely too big for me. Um, I have to cinch them up to a ridiculous amount just to keep them on. But they're super comfortable and they're really warm. So I'll wear those over that. Uh, for You want to keep dry. Um, that one jacket I already showed you keeps you pretty dry. Lily, enough. Now she just wants to go out and play all the time. Um, that one jacket keeps you pretty dry. Uh, but I have this. This is one. This is a gift that I got from my wife. Um, she works at Gander, so sometimes she can get a good deal. This is a Columbia, like a sill nylon or some kind of jacket. That's you know, it's just like awesome, super light rain slash wind jacket. Uh, it all packs down into its pocket. I think it weighs probably, you know. I don't know, maybe a few ounces, three ounces at most. I don't even know. Not a lot, though. Maybe an ounce or two. Um, so that's an awesome jacket to have. Uh, it also helps keep the rain off you. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty much it for clothing that I'll bring. Um, maybe an extra bandana or something. Maybe an extra pair of socks, depending on things. Um, anyway, this is the hammock I went with. It's uh, I don't have it in a stuff sack right now, but it's an equip. It's a Walmart brand hammock. I don't know if it's a Walmart brand, but I got it at Walmart anyway. For 25 bucks. So, yeah, bucks. they come with this uh, rope here. It's like a, I don't know, it's just a stiff nylon braid nylon braid rope. And it's, they're really, they just don't work very well. Um, they'll hold you up. They'll do the job, but they'll, I just don't like them. So, what I ended up doing is getting some nylon, uh, just strap. It's just one inch, one inch, or inch and a half, or one inch, I think, strapping. Um, a loop was sewn into one side, hooked it up to the already strung part of this channel end, and uh, I just wrap, it's like 12 feet long, eat both sides, so then I, uh, I just wrap it around the tree a few times, and, uh, you know, uh, half hitch it off, and it's, it works great.
Um, I know it's cheap, and people say oh, there's a lot of different kinds of hammocks you can get. Hennessy hammocks, uh, Dream hammocks, um, all different kinds of stuff. Go on, kitty. You're not going outside. I got a menagerie of animals here. See? Yeah. Anyway, there's Killer. Um, you, there's a bunch of different kinds of hammocks you can go with. I just happened to pick this because I wasn't sure if I was going to like hammock camping, and it turns out I'm addicted now. So, but this one's doing fine. So until this one kicks the bucket, that's what I'm going with. A um, couple of uh, pack towels here. Uh, like I said, I like to go cheap on things. You can get these. I go to a store called Axeman here in Minnesota. Um, Axeman is the best for any kind of gizmo, gadget. Uh, you need a diode for anything. You need a nylon strap for anything. You need a screwdriver for anything. You get it there. Um, but, yeah, they have these. They're like a buck for two. Uh, super cheap. A um, pair of cheap sunglasses from the gas station. Should have those. Get bright. Uh, Got to have a bug net. Any bug net will do. Um, cheap Walmart brand ham uh, bug net works great. A couple of different kinds of uh, fire starters here. Got the magnesium stick for that just in case scenario. I got a box of matches, um, and then I got a lighter with a. <laughs> it's got a cozy on it, and I'll uh, explain what I was doing with that. That's a uh, that's a Shug, uh, not a Shug design, but a Shug inspired design right there. Um, let's see this. This is my stick pick. Goes it's for my camera. Goes on the end of my. Uh, Trucking pole, uh, basically all it is is a 20 ounce bottle cap with a bolt where the threads match up with my camera. That's all it is. S stick it on there, press hard, it holds into place, it does an awesome job, cost me nothing except the cost of the pop, which I had anyway. And then the bolt I found lying around my uh, tool shop. So yeah, that's uh, that works great and I love it and if I lose it, I don't care because it didn't cost me anything. Um, I keep the, we bring the Windows phone here, which is, and we basically use it as a little tablet. I use it as like an iPod thing, um, just to listen to some music, take some pictures on. The video camera on it sucks, kind of, it's blurry. But yeah, we'll bring that. This is a speaker that I can hook up to it, set it in my pack, and if I want to listen to music for whatever reason, you know, or if I, you know, need it for anything, I have it, uh, and I can dial 911 if necessary. Um, because I actually don't own a cell phone. I just don't think they're necessary. I actually don't own a TV either. We have one laptop in our house, and, uh, that's it. Um, so yeah, this is a super cheap, super light, uh, Walmart little trowel, uh, duty shovel for duty. <laughs> handling your duty. Handling your business when you're out in the woods. Because, inevitably, you're going to have to go to the bathroom in the woods. And, uh, man or woman, cover that up. Because, uh, yeah, nobody else wants to see that, and frankly, it's it's gross. So, yeah, that goes in there. It's $4. Awesome. Not really heavy. Just, you know, just a shovel. Uh, this is the fuel, one of my fuel canisters. These are great. These are $1. Uh, or $1. These are just, I think we got these at the dollar store. Um, so, yeah, it would be about a dollar, I would imagine, for like a pack of four. Um, and I use that heat. The H-E-E-T, um, like, fuel line de-icer de or whatever it is. If there's a problem with that, if that's, like, somehow makes whatever you're eating or drinking poison, let me know. It's not going into the water, so uh, I, don't, I don't know how it would. But I've seen some people, oh, you're making your stuff into poison. You know, who knows. Um, I've got children all around me, I think. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I got some hydrogen peroxide, which apparently my wife told me she's a histotechnologist. She ended up telling me that I couldn't, I wasn't supposed to store it in a clear bottle. It actually renders it useless. So maybe I just have some really, like, toxic water here that really doesn't do anything. I don't know. But I had some hydrogen peroxide. I ended up, uh, getting some sanitizer, just hand sanitizer. It's not bad to have. Cut yourself. It's nice to clean it out. A couple of extra, um, SD cards for my camera that I'm using right now, so I can't really show you that. Pack cover. Uh, this is a really cheap uh, pack cover. I just keep it in this pack just to be able to um, just to be able to compress it down a little bit, but it's an outdoor outdoor adventure, outdoor design something hammock or hammock. Uh, pack cover. Um, it's like a one size fits all, but it works really good, and it's super cheap. It's like $4 again, $5, so if it happens to rip you know what? I don't care. Cat, get... Oh, I swear.
I've got I've got a cat, a dog, I got a turtle, fish, uh, frog, we got a skink, um, I got more fish in the back, my daughters have fish, we got animals everywhere, it drives you crazy sometimes. Because they're always trying to do something. Anyway, back cover, really awesome. Uh, I've got, uh, this is my, my uh, pot holder, uh, just for when the pot's hot, you sit there and grab hold of your pot, and there, there you go. Holds on tight. That's my pot, by the way. Holds about a quarter cup over two cups. So you know thereabouts about how much you need for any, like, your mountain house meals. Um, they usually require about two cups of water. Um, fancy Feast. Little alcohol stove. A couple of tabs in there for the uh, windscreen, homemade windscreen. That just has a couple of uh, little things in there. I don't know if you can see those. But, um, yeah, that holds it together works really good uh, I saw this made on YouTube thought it was really cool um, you can sit there and put your mountain house bag in there with the hot water it'll sit there stay hot cook this is made out of mylar uh, reflectix material that you'd use on your windshield to keep the sun out of your car um, but yeah you cut it up you can make a really cool little envelope for that um, or the sugar inspired pot cozy with the lid you just pop that out you can put your uh, Put your pot right in there, and yeah, there's, uh, go to Shug, uh, I don't remember what his uh, page is, but if you type in S-H-U-G, he'll show you how to make one of these, and that's his design, I think, but uh, yeah, it works really awesome, uh, so thanks to Shug for that, for showing us that. A um, couple little plastic spoons, they're, uh, yeah, just cheap, I think they were 50 cents a piece or something at Walmart. So, yeah, we use those. Got a little mini Skeletool. It's got a scissors on it, a tweezers on it. Um, good to have one of these when you're camping, just to, just to have one. You never know what you might need, and besides, I like it, and it's a fun little toy. So, and I'm a guy, and I like toys. Little headlamp. Works awesome. Uh, extra flashlight that I can hang from my ridge line. Um, hiker's candy, otherwise known as ibuprofen. Um... Trekking poles. I got these trekking poles again at Axeman. It cost eight dollars for that for each pole. So eight dollars a pole. I don't. You can't really beat that. It's got the add anti shock. It's basically a spring inside of there, so it's a little easier on you, I guess, is what they're trying to say. But um, yeah, eight bucks a piece. You can't really go wrong with that. Uh, let's see here. Just a bandana. Another bandana just to keep my. This, I put all my cook pot, my cook stuff in there. Um, I've got a Katahdin. Uh, like basically gravity filter. Um, it's a cat katahdin filter with it basically in a gravity bag. It works really good. Uh, a couple of extra just ropes, little loops that I have. Um, those are I just you know I don't even know why I carry them. It's just you never know what you might need a little rope for. Uh, let's see here, a couple extra little bungees. I got an ace bandage for that just in case. I have blown my knee out. I've separated my shoulder, and I've done all kinds of things mountain biking, so I figure it never Let's hurts. Let's see. We got the, uh, this is my sleeping bag. This is a Eureka Silver City. It says it's a 30-degree 30, 30 rating, but frankly, uh, it's too thin for that. Um, but it does pack down fairly small. So what I did is I have the Eureka in there, and then I have a fleece liner inside of it, um, which... Still, I think maybe would do 30 degrees by itself, but frankly, I'd you'd have to be wearing a lot of clothes, I think. Either that, I'm just a freeze baby. But uh, I think uh, that might be a little thin. But with the way I have it set up, with the with the bag and then the fleece liner on the inside um, of my pack, I usually, like I said, I have the tarp over me, and then I have um, for my hammock under quilt, I took a dolomite. 2s down 40 degree bag um it's a re regular rectangle bag but what i did uh you know what i'm not going to pull it out of here but what i did is i took um and tied on where are they now over here on each of the corners i took a i took a zip tie like that that had these little little eyelets on them and basically i Zip tied each one on each corner, and then ran a rope through there, and then ran on on the long at the two ends, the two long ends. I ran a rope 
from each one to a carabiner. And basically all I have to do is hook the carabiner on one side, hook a carabiner on the other side, and uh, it works out like a perfect um, nice down underquilt. So that coupled with that bag there works really good. I got a little bag, a little pillow in here. This isn't an actual camp pillow. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but it was, uh, it's just a little tiny pillow that my daughter had had, so I decided to use it because, it, well, frankly, it doesn't, it's not going to cost me the same as an actual camp towel or camp pillow. Um, other than that, I think that runs pretty much the gamut of things. Um, you got any uh, questions or you know, comments as, or suggestions, you know, definitely feel free to let me know. I'm always down to learn new things and, you know, hopefully I can teach something at the same time. Uh, other than that, I'm uh, Hillbilly Deluxe and I will see you guys out on the trail.